This week, we're looking at a couple of developments, both of them involving candidates who are trying to emerge in Iowa as leading alternatives to Donald Trump. The first involves Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who on Saturday is going to visit his 99th Iowa County. There are 99 counties in Iowa. He will have visited all of them. And for DeSantis, who has put all of his cards on finishing strong in Iowa, it's a gesture. He also has the endorsement, somewhat rare, uh, of the Iowa governor, Kim Reynolds. Uh, it's not common for the governor to endorse a candidate during the Iowa caucus campaign. They usually like to stay neutral, but uh, Reynolds has made the point that she wants somebody besides Donald Trump, and she has a special affinity for Ron DeSantis, who governs much in the style that she does. So on Saturday, DeSantis is going to visit Jasper County, just east of Des Moines. That'll be his 99th county, and there will be a big rally there. The other story we're tracking this week is former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley, who is making a run in Iowa and is challenging DeSantis for second place in Iowa. She has bet more of her campaign on finishing well in New Hampshire. She's more of a moderate. Independents get to vote in the New Hampshire primary. But if she overperforms in Iowa, that could send her to New Hampshire with some momentum against Trump. She's visited Iowa less often than DeSantis, but she's starting to gain some momentum. She's racked up some endorsements from some mainstream Republicans. But this week, Haley received the endorsement of Americans for Prosperity, the group that was founded by the Koch brothers and has a national footprint, especially in organizing and reaching out and advertising in key states, including Iowa. Haley has not had much of a ground game in Iowa. She hasn't had very many people on the ground working her campaign because she has more invested in New Hampshire than in Iowa. Well, with the endorsement of Americans for Prosperity, she would likely inherit the massive ground game that Americans for Prosperity can provide. And what that means is bodies, door knockers, people touting her, getting them to her events, and ultimately promoting her in getting them to caucus for her on January 15th. 